like Chiefs fans. <clears throat> As you can see from my hat, I'm also a Chiefs fan, so this video is going to make complete sense. I'm not going to make any outright predictions as far as like the roster or anything like that. This is just what I would like to see happen in an ideal situation for 2019 roster-wise. Offensively, of course, keep Patrick Mahomes for the starting quarterback. I mean, look at the stellar season he had in 2018. Almost 5,100 passing yards, 50 touchdowns, plus two rushing touchdowns, only a dozen interceptions, why the hell trade him? That would just be foolish on Andy Reid and Brett Beach's part. I mean, why the hell would he want to do a, uh, what I'll call a Scott Peely or a Carl Peterson? Right? <laughs> Backup Chad Henney is in his second and final year contract-wise with the Chiefs, so Logically, to me anyway, it would be realistic to keep Chase Litton as a third quarterback. If they don't, however, I think it would be good to keep Litton on the practice squad and save him for 2020 for backup purposes. Now, the running back situation gets interesting, at least to me. We've got Four running backs on the roster as it stands. Spencer Ware, Damian and Daryl Williams, and Tarkandrick West, plus the fullback Anthony Sherman. The way I see it, just to save wide receiver DeAnthony Thomas' health, we convert him to running back as sad as I would be to see Charkandrick West go, we get rid of him, considering how crowded the backfield would be, and the backfield would be, and I'm not going in order here, as far as the depth chart, but the backfield would be something like Spencer Ware, Damian and Daryl Williams, D.A.T., and then Anthony Sherman at fullback. Wide receiver situation. My ideal six would be, again, I'm not going in order as far as the depth chart. This is just who I would keep. Tyreek Hill, Chris Conley, the oft-injured Sammy Watkins, I'm all for second chances. Garrett Dieter. Demarcus Robinson. And Byron Pringle, who is just coming off injured reserve. Tight ends. Definitely keep Travis Kelsey. Convert... Kelvin Benjamin to tight end. I mean, <clears throat> to me, he's a better blocker than a receiver. And do what you want with Demetrius Harris. If we get rid of Harris, then have Benjamin as insurance for Kelsey. But if we keep Harris, then Benjamin is a third tight end for us. As far as offensive line goes... Left tackle, there's not a chance in hell, as much as I hate to word it that way, that we're going to give up on Eric Fisher. Left guard, I see us sticking with Cameron Irving. For center, I've seen some lists online that say that we should get rid of Mitch Morse, but I totally disagree. For right guard, I believe we should stick with Laurent Debonair Tardif, LDT. And at right tackle, Mitchell Schwartz is definitely a durable and reliable guy, so keep that starting five, but get as much depth as possible. 
defensively is where it gets interesting, at least to me. Since we hired Steve Spagnolo as defensive coordinator, and we're going to the 4 3, the defensive line to me would look like this Chris Jones on the right side, Xavier Williams next to him, Derek Nowdy next to him, and then Alan Bailey on the left end. I'm going to skip linebackers for the moment. I'll get back to that. <clears throat> as far as secondary goes, the two guys from the 2018 secondary that I would get rid of, Eric Murray, who I've never really had confidence in, and who I'll call problem child Orlando Skandrick. To replace them, Landon Collins from the Giants, who has said that he wants to play for a DC that he has history with, like a Steve Spagnolo, and doing whatever we have to do to trade for Earl Thomas. Now, for the ones that I would keep Steven Nelson, Kendall Fuller, Jordan Lucas, Armani Watts. Eric Berry, uh, Traymond Smith, Daniel Sorensen, I'm missing a couple names, I'm missing one name, oh, and Chabray's work. As far as the linebackers go, the one guy that I would cut is Frank Zombo, replacing him with Clay Matthews. I would re-sign D. Ford, keep Justin Houston, have them as the bookends, keep Anthony Hitchens and Reggie Ragland. I know I'm going to get some backlash for that, but what the hey. have Ben Neiman and Breland Speaks as backups, all the very capable ones. And I actually made a list last night to uh, sort of remind myself of the rest of who I would have as sort of incumbents. Oh, Tano Passanio. And Terrence Smith. As far as the special team situation, James Winchester is reliable at long snapper. Harrison Butker has been a hell of a kicker for us for two seasons. The one position that we're going to have to look at for the future is punter. Dustin Colquitt is entering his 15th season, so he might be retiring soon, although he is still great. But we might want to look at either undrafted free agents or drafting a guy in maybe the seventh round. Let me know what you think, and go Chiefs! As far as the fact that I didn't say 53 guys, any, that, any spots that I left open would be left open for undrafted free agents or guys that we actually draft.